Yeah. My favorite band is Window Events. I don't know, it's that super stupid title, but you know, what are you listening to? What's your favorite band? What you're listening to? You know, ah, I'm listening to Window Events. Uh, whatever. Um, IPC, Interprocess Communication, I think it stands for. In this video, we will add a Python listener uh, that will listen for window events and stuff and change the title format of our uh, Thunar windows here. The, the, this is an important piece of the puzzle that is the Durtac, which is my Thunar Rise, to, to be able to uh, execute events when the title changes, meaning that the, the, the directory of, of, of the currently open Thunar changes and by default, you know, the default uh, Thunar window title, it is uh, displaying the, 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 the currently active directory and the string file manager. Uh, so if I would open git here, for instance, now it says git file manager and so on. Also, let's just disable some stupid UI elements uh, and you can do so by just uh, selecting something here in the view menu that's already visible for instance shortcuts boom i like this this is clean this is nice mm. okay so python listener hello first off uh, you need to install this python listener script uh, let's see here pacman qs here, this this is the package i i three ipc dash python dash git. It's available in a u r, and you can also um, use it in um, uh, or install it from pip. Here is the GitHub page for this uh, uh, package. Um, so you can also install it with pip install i3 ipc if you don't want to use aur or if you're on a different distribution or if you just really like pa uh, python's package manager um, cool thing here is that uh, you can use this with both i3 and sway sway is an incredibly interesting cool project and i i actually tried out and 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 what was was about to switch to sway i i i used it for for a month or something uh during my my um uh, dark dark matter uh dark mirror period when i was when i wasn't uh, making any noise i was uh, one of those months i was using sway and I think I will get back to, to, to that. And it's a very interesting project. Uh, really recommend everyone who doesn't have uh, anything else better to do to to give it a give it a try. It's cool. Whatever. Very 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 sidetracked. I3 IPC Python, and it also have uh, um, documentation here. Here I open it in a new tab. I know here it is. So you can read about how to set it up and as you can see it's quite a lot of things you can do and it, that is available for you by using this and it's a python script uh, as we have said i have uh, a python script running in the background that i call i3listen.py so you need to create a script somewhere you need to call it uh, add this shebang uh, to be sure to, to use Python 3 and then uh, add some stuff and, and run that in the background uh, during your whole i3 uh, session to, to, to make sure to, to be able to use this. I will add some, some sort of a, a start script uh, in the GitHub repo for the, for the show notes for this when I up upload it. But I haven't really done so now. And also this, as you can see, this is my, my, my listen script that I use uh, now, right now it's running. And I do a lot of other things than just uh, um, uh, managing the, the, the Thunar manager. And I don't really want to create two different scripts here running. So, so I will modify this script, but uh, to the GitHub, I will add something that's much more stripped down. Here, here we have a version. This is all you need to, to be able to, to listen to, to uh, this Thunar window. You need to add this uh, from i3 IPC import connection. Very important, so you can use this i3 IPC. We also need this sub process here. I don't think we need this actually. 
And then we also need to uh, import the regular expression, especially substitute the uh, uh, method or command or class or whatever we are doing here. I, I, I don't really know. I don't know Python. I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure of the right words, the fancy uh, r uh, correct way to, to pronounce things. And I, as I understand, they change everything, you know, it is, you know, slave and, and master. That's very, very nasty, bad words that they removed and broke a lot of uh, backwards compatibility, but all in the name of free speech or whatever. I, I, I don't even know. I, I, and I don't want to talk about those things. It, it makes me sad and angry. Okay. Um, we need this, we need uh, this also, i3.on, this means that every time a window event occurs, execute a method, and we call this method win, uh, window notify here. Uh, and here in this method, if the window class is thunerd, execute the thuner uh, method and, and continue to pass the event uh, thing here. And here is where, where it gets interesting. And now I will switch to my own uh, listener script, but it should look more or less the same thing here. Except that I need to enable this uh, thing here again. And also, uh, I should mention this, that I, I, I like to have it set up like this to only listen for events on the D, uh, Thunar D here, the, the B window. I really never um, need to to change layout or anything. I think a list view is fine. Always use list view in, in this window. And then I don't need to change layout and that just uh, le less things to, to worry, worry about, you know. So by activating this uh, and uh, now, now we can start doing things here in our Thunar method. And what we do here is we, we look if, if the event uh, is uh, a title change. If that is true, then we do things. And what we want to do today is to change the title format. So uh, that, let's start with that, removing this uh, file manager string from the end end of the title. So it only it, it would only say bud here and uh, git, then it would only say git and so on. Uh, uh, uh. So we also need this sub process thing here call uh, that is used to execute shell commands from the python command here this is uh, both of these are our uh, python standard library but you still need to import the, the the libraries into your scripts if you want to use them so by doing this we can use this call method to execute shell commands and to execute shell commands you have to specify them in this list fashion. So, so each word on, on the shell command here, for instance, uh, if we would uh, do a notify send uh, here, for, for instance, notify send dash t zero message. If I execute this command, you see, it displays a message. Dash t zero means uh, uh, don't time, time out on this window. And then message and this these are all different words even the option here is one word the zero is one word a message is one word and the command in itself is one word and you need to add each word of the command as an object in or an element inside a list uh, in python i think this is called a list in python language uh, it is basically an indexed array so uh, let's try with the notify send. You can see I have already prepared it a bit here. So notify send dash t zero and then ttl here. That is a variable that we create here if the title changes. Then we take the container name and this is the title of the window, the window title. So now if I save here and reload. Now uh, this, this should be working. So if I would uh, change directory here in Thunar you can see that uh, we get the uh, notify send here uh, with, with the title of Thunar, same as we have in the title format. And if I would go into uh, Pix, for instance, now it says Pix here and yeah. Okay, good. Now we know it's working. If we want to change the title format of, of the window, we can use, I have already prepared that as well here, uh, or 
let's type it from the again uh, i3 message title underscore format uh, and then new form or whatever this will change uh, the, the title format and the title format is not the window title not the this is internal i3 only it's it, it's just what's displayed inside uh, the title of, of a tab or or the window title of a, of, of a window so if i execute this now it changes uh, the title format of this active window uh, and just as with any i3 commands or more or less any i3 com command you can specify a uh, a criteria to, to, to set set a certain window for instance uh, if we do a, a class equal sublime text now I'm not sure if this is the class name but I think so yeah now you can see I changed the class uh, the title format of, of sublime here um, you can there are other criteria you can use instance you know and title but you can also use the container id that is actually the best uh, uh, the best uh, criteria you can use if you can get the container id because that's unique to each container uh, a con yeah whatever <laughs> and that's what we're going to use here and the container id is stored in inside the same place here, here as the title but uh, with the ID property instead so if we instead here for uh, notify send the title if we uh, uh, print this uh, the seed instead here and see this is just a variable name you can could name this any anything you want but I like container ID it's simple reload uh, if I didn't do that uh, file manager go back changing the title now it prints the container id and now if i change directory it should just print uh, add the same container id because that doesn't change okay and we have the command we need uh, now everything is called new form and that's a bit stupid here but whatever um, this terminal there Let's copy this i3 message thing here, add it to our Python. And now instead of, of sending notify send, or let's let's do this. Because we want to change the, the title, remember, remove this file manager. And that's what we need this RE for. That stands for regular expression, and this sub is the subclass, meaning we can use that to, to modify uh, strings. And one string is a uh, title here as we as we stored if we if we use this uh, sub method this will uh, replace uh, file manager space dash space space file manager this dollar sign means the string ends with this if it does so replace that with nothing inside uh, the string title that we have here so now why is it red? Too many blank lines. Sorry, sorry, Python. So now save, reload. Now it should print uh, or give us a notification with only the 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 first part here, without this space dash file man manager thing. And this is what we want to change the title format to. So now let's change this to instead of of. Um, uh, this let's do i3 message and and now also the criteria here we want that to look something like uh, con id or con underscore id is equal to the actual con id which is an integer like this uh, and that is stored here and now I will use a weird uh, thing here in Python where you can write like this percentage s and then you do percentage parenthesis sid close parenthesis this is more or less a, a, a simple version or, or a shorthand for writing like printf you know then you can do i think i have it here already yeah here we have it you know if you write this 
then it will replace uh, uh, percentage s with the stri uh, first string argument to print f here. So this looks like this, you know, and this this is more or less what we're doing here here as well. But you write it in this fa fashion. You can concatenate strings in other ways in in, in Python, whatever. Then we have the criteria. The next argument here should be title format. And the last argument is, uh, yeah, our, our, our new uh, title. So let's see if this works. Now, if I open Git directory here now, it changes the title format to only Git. It's already uh, starting to uh, be something, whatever. And you can see it's very fast. It's very, uh, this stuff, it, it's not bloated at all. This script, even if it's running in the background, it does a, it only execute these uh, actions when uh, the events matches and stuff, you know. So so it, it, it works really well. And I will add this to to uh, the GitHub show notes or the show notes on GitHub for this video, so you can copy paste and try it out yourself. I I hope it will work for you as well. But now we have like the keys to the castle of Durtax because now we can execute commands and pass in the title of, of the Thuner we know we have we have all we need now to start doing crazy things like changing layouts and stuff that I showed you in the first tour video. So next next video we we have to uh, we need or there's one one ingredients left. Because there's no way currently to, to know exactly which directory we are in. We only get the top directory. Uh, for instance, now it says bud because it's uh, home slash bud, you know, and, and now it says only git. That that doesn't really tell us exactly wh which directory we, we are viewing. We want the full path to the title. And that is what we're going to look at in the next video, how to achieve that. because. As with everything with Thuner, the, the, it's not as simple as it should be. But I have found a solution on how to do it and I will show it to you in the next video. I say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Subs don't forget to subscribe to PewDiePie. We have to crush T-Series, you know. Have a great day, everybody. Bye, bye, bye.